What's up, Anamangians? And welcome back. So, I just got finished watching Yesterday. This is a movie about a musician who's down on his luck, who one day wakes up and realizes that the entire world has never heard of the Beatles. Basically, the Beatles never existed. And he finds himself in a weird situation here where he can turn his life around and bank off of the success of these previous musicians uh, or continue uh, trying to make his own music and not getting any anywhere. Uh, this movie was very good and I feel like it's probably going to go under the radar, which is really disappointing because a movie like this doesn't come around very often. Uh, a movie with so much heart uh, um, that, that, that pays homage to uh, legendary musicians um, and has a lot to say about uh, what it means to be famous uh, what's in, in, and what's most important in your life. And it's really disappointing to, to know that a lot more people are not going to see this film. Now, when I first saw the trailer for this movie, I instantly knew I was going to enjoy it just because of the soundtrack. I mean, it's an entire film based on the Beatles and their music. So we know there's going to be a lot of their music throughout the entire film. So I was excited for that, period. But the movie just turned out to be so much more than, than just a trip down Beatle Lane. And I really appreciated that. Now, the film stars Himesh Patel as Jack. He's a musician who's out on who who's down on his luck. And Himesh uh, is really good in this role. You really feel for him uh, when he's not making it big, and then when he is big, but starts having some feelings about being there, having all of this fame, and having this fame for the wrong reasons. Uh, he's able to 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 bring forth those feelings with very little effort. And I think that that is wonderful. This is definitely a star making turn for him. And I can't wait to see what else he's going to be in. On top of that, he actually has a really good singing voice. I'm, I mean, some of the covers here were beautifully sung, uh, almost like he really could have written the songs himself and perform them and you wouldn't have thought that he was singing someone else's songs. They they it 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 was really great. Himesh, awesome job. <laughs> uh, and we also have Lily James playing his best friend uh slash love interest. Um and she plays Ellie. Lily James is really good here. They don't really give her a lot to do with the role, but the scenes that she does have, she definitely her her chemistry with with Himesh uh it, it it just, it elevates the film and it elevates the scenes that they are both in. I just wish that there was a little bit more there because the movie really does try to sell their relationship. And while, like I said, those scenes are really touching and, and they're really cute and adorable, um, it's just not enough for the film to feel like you're getting like that really you know, good payoff at, at the end. Like, like it's built up to, to, to something with them and then you know the payoff just feels worth it to, to me uh while i did like them together i do feel like the movie doesn't give them enough time to really uh grow on screen and that was disappointing kate mckinnon as uh jack's agent is really a standout i mean she's just extremely funny and she's definitely uh, the uh, um, Danny Boyle's version of the uh, snake agent or the snake musical a agent or maybe just the music industry in general. I mean, what he has to say about the music industry in this film uh, isn't very uh, pleasant, <laughs> which, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, the music industry doesn't really have the best reputation and Kate McKinnon definitely embodies that here. I mean, on top of being like just darkly funny, she's really able to get that, you know, evil corporate uh, uh, music industry thing across um, really well. And again, I feel like we would have used just, just a little bit more of her would have made the film just, a, just, that, just that much better. Um, 
Because I feel like she's in a lot of scenes and she does do a lot of really funny things, but I do feel like they kind of leave her out. And I'm not really sure why. I'm not sure if maybe they didn't know what else to do with her. Um, but I mean, she's just she's just barely in, in the film. And I think that, that that's, uh, I feel like that's, that's a crime. Uh, the rest of the supporting cast is really good. They all have certain scenes that definitely stand out. One person for sure is Joel Fry, who who plays uh, um, Jack's friend Rocky. He definitely has a lot of the more humorous uh, lines and scenes. Um, uh, and I feel like he definitely made the film a lot funnier than I would have initially expected. Uh, Jack's parents also play a huge role in, in, in the humor. And that's another thing. This film really doesn't take itself seriously. I mean, even though it does cover like some serious subjects, and certain things about life choices and 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 all of that and greed and and honesty. Uh, it, it, uh, I mean, it infuses so much humor into it. Uh, you 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 rarely ever really you, you know sink too deep into those really heavy topics. And while that is a good thing, I do think that it works against the film a little bit because when you're done watching it when you're walking away, it does feel like, well, you know, they could have gone a little bit deeper into this, or they could have said a little bit more about that. And I feel like the film itself would be taken just a little bit more seriously had they taken some of those weighty themes a little bit more serious. Now, do I think that that makes the film unwatchable? Absolutely not. I feel like if you have not seen this and you're a Beatles fan and you love uh, simple romance movies, this is definitely a film for you. It's fun. It's funny. It definitely has a lot more to more to it than hey, some guy singing Beatles songs. So definitely check it out if you're in it for that. And speaking of the music, hearing these songs again on the big screen and hearing people around you singing along with the person on the screen. It's just a wonderful experience. If you're going to see this film, see it in theaters. Try to experience this movie with as many people as possible. Uh, people who definitely appreciate the music. I do think that um, a, a, a good knowledge of the Beatles and where they're from and uh, who they are and you know a nice knowledge of, of their songs uh, will help you enjoy the film a little bit more uh, because if if you don't know a lot of these songs or where the Beatles are from or who they are, I don't think that you'll get as much enjoyment from some of those little Easter eggs uh, and little things. I don't think that you'll really know what's what's happening. I think that you'll probably get the gist like, okay, this is Beatles related, but you know, you're not going to have that giddy feeling that a real Beatles fan would actually have. So if you're not really a Beatles fan, I probably can't recommend this movie for you. Uh, and 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 that's disappointing uh, because even though the film is funny, it does uh, uh, try to touch on some, some heavy topics and it is entertaining for the most part. A large part of the entertainment value for this film is the Beatles songs, you know, and and all of that. So if you're not a huge fan, this probably isn't for you, but I, I, I mean, if you're even a tiny bit interested, go ahead and check it out. See for yourself. You might walk away being a Beatles fan for all we know. You might say, hey, these songs sound great. I wish I knew a little bit more about the Beatles. I'm going to go home and I'm going to listen to everything that they've ever put out. And we do get some 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 other cameos from other musicians and others and other celebrities in this film too. So that was really cool. That was really fun. And they also do something really cool with the actual blackout that makes everybody forget about the Beatles. Um, and it kind of goes on throughout the entire film that I think that a lot of people who go see the movie will actually in, enjoy quite a bit. So, uh, I mean, with, with all of that being, being said, yesterday was very enjoyable to me. I'm a Beatles fan. I grew up listening to them. Uh, I know a lot of their music. I know a lot of their history. So I got a lot of enjoyment out of it. But I can't say that, that someone who is not a fan would get the same enjoyment out of it 
I mean, there are some people who don't like the Beatles at all. And uh, some of the messages that this movie tries to send out, they might not necessarily agree with. So uh, I think it's a good film. It may not be for, for everyone, but I do think it's uh, going to be an enjoyable watch for a lot of people. Himesh Patel, Lily James, Kate McKinnon, they all do incredibly well here. They're all very funny, very relatable, and they definitely sell their characters' um, interactions and their struggles on screen that I think a lot of people will be able to uh, sympathize with and feel. Uh, this is a film that I think that you should go see, see what all the hype is about, and then come back and let me know what you thought of it. If you have already seen yesterday, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Were you really excited to hear some of those Beatles songs? What was your favorite Beatles cover? And what songs did you think was, was missing? Because I can definitely name a few. But I don't want to get into spoiler territory here. We can just talk about it in the comment section. Let me know what you guys thought. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji. Don't forget to click that like button and do not forget to click that bell notification so that you will know when I post again. That's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay dope. Until a month ago, you were a complete failure. <laughs> and then somehow, you became the biggest star in the world, as if by magic. So what happened? Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Oh, I believe in yesterday. When did you write that? I didn't write it. Paul McCartney wrote it. The Beatles. Who? John, Paul, George, and Ringo. The Beatles. No. Stop it. Yesterday. It's one of the greatest songs ever written. Well, it's not Coldplay. It's not Fix You. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes. I'm just uh, listening to Jack's new song. Oh, yeah. What's this one called? Uh, leave it be. Let it be. Well, rock on, Jack. Word has got out about a new pop phenomenon. <laughs> Your music, it's incredible. We need you to come to LA. I'm offering you money and fame. Hello, Mr. Sheeran. Love your work, man. Especially the rapping. Oh, really? No, I'm only kidding. No, leave it to the brothers. That'd be my advice. Hey, you. You're leaving, so I can ask you anything. How did I get in the friend column instead of the and I love her column? Jack Mallet, we're a superstar. We could have been the perfect match. But now, you're the world's greatest songwriter. I'm not. Except that you probably are. It is my honor now to open this door for the moment the entire world has been waiting for. Nah, wrong door. Is it just you writing the songs? Yes. But is it? I, d I don't know. I've been a fool twice over. Perhaps love isn't all you need. But it's pretty damn close. With the song, I do have a suggestion. Hey, dude. Hey, dude, are you sure? Hey, dude. He's right. That's better. Mm.